Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous video, we have seen how we can create a sample database and restore the database using pgadmin, psql or command prompt and dweaver tool. So in this video, I will show you how we can take the backup using pgadmin, psql or the sql cell or command prompt and dweaver tools. So let's start by doing it through PG admin first so if we have already created a database so we'll get like this so first select the database that uh, you want to take the backup of so right click on that and then go to backup option in the backup option first you need to provide the file name so to provide the file name i'll open the folder where i need to save it i'll give the file name like this dvd rental dot sql i'll also show you how we can take the backup in other file formats as well so i'll save it and in the format i need to change it to custom to plain because i am taking the backup as sql then click on the backup so backup started and then backup completed so we can verify the same thing here the backup is completed now i'll open this file so this is the backup file created okay so now i'll show you how we can do it in other file format so again go to backup then select then provide the file name i'll provide the file name dvd rental dot tar tire then save and since i have selected the tire file format i'll need to select the tire and then backup so process started and completed so i'll verify that this is completed now i'll also show you how we can do it using the dot backup extension so right click on that go to backup go to folder to select the file i'll select dvd rental and after typing the name i'll select the file format dot backup and then click on save and here you, you need to check the file format this is the custom then click on backup so backup started and backup completed so if we see this is the dvd rental backup file okay so this is how we take the backup using pg admin we have seen three ways how we can do it we can do it as sql we can do it as tar we can do it as backup okay now i'll show you how we can take the backup of our database using psql tool or command prompt tool okay so for that first i'll verify if my database is available or not yes the database is available now i'll go to command prompt once the command prompt is open we need to move to bin folder because the application pg dump which is responsible to take the backup is available within this folder so copy the path and remember this path may be different for you it's a based on your installation okay so for me this is applicable i'll copy this and go to command prompt i'll change the path and this is done now i'll write the commands to take the backup if i show you here i have already deleted everything there is blank i'll show you four file format how we can take the backup of the database one is the sql second is the tar third is the backup and the fourth is the directory option okay let me shortly explain you what we are doing in this command we are using the pg dump application host we have provided the database name we have provided user through which user we are going to connect provided and the port number provided and hyphen f means the file format so file format i have mentioned tar and then i have given the output folder so i'll press enter it will ask the password i'll provide the password password is root for the postgres user for me and i click enter so let's see if the backup is ready as tar file yes it is ready now i'll show you how we can take the backup as dot bak file so for that this is the command everything is same if you see and in the file format i have given custom and then the output file so i'll click enter then i'll put the password so it's completed let's verify so the backup is completed next i'll show you how we can do it in the sql format so for that this is the command the command is same you need to remember the file format the file format is plain for sql so i have given the file format and then the target file and i'll provide the password and this is completed let me verify so we have completed the sql dump as well now i'll show you how we can do it in the directory format so for that this is the command and for directory this is the file format this the directory and hyphen f and the directory name lowercase hyphen f is for the file 
where the file will be created and the uppercase F is for the directory that is the file format you need to remember this now I'll press enter then I'll provide the password and enter so the backup is created I'll verify the same here the directory backup format is completed we have seen how we can take the backup of our Postgres database using command prompt next I'll show you how we can take the backup of our database using the dbweaver tool select the database and then right click go to tools go to backup select all select all and then next and here you can choose the format first let me do it using the directory and I have provided the output folder and the file pattern within which the files will be created now I'll click on start so we can see that this is completed now if I verify within this folder all the backup is created now I'll show you how we can take the backup in other formats go to tools go to backup select all select all select all next here we need to change the file format I'll do it plain and I'll do it using SQL okay so if you remember the plane was for SQL I'll click on ok the dump is completed we can verify that here the database backup is completed as SQL file now next I'll show you how we can do it as tar file go to tools go to backup select all select all then next select the file format as tar and here the dot tar is already appended automatically then click on start so backup is completed let's verify it so backup is completed now I'll show you how we can take the backup as backup file so go to tools go to backup select all select all then next select here custom and then the file name is dvd rental I can append dot bak and then click on start so the dump is completed so I have shown you how we can take the backup in multiple file formats it can be SQL it can be tar it can be dot backup file or it can be directory so we have covered these things if the video was helpful do like the video and subscribe the channel to get the notifications let's meet in the next video with another topic till then take care bye bye